right, so hi angels, so welcome back. Today we are gonna be, um, I was gonna say reacting. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the basic. Uh, so today we, we have finally which we actually watched the anime a long time ago yeah. and yeah and then we never got around to filming it and so then, now we're so now we're going back yeah, to it we pretty much actually watched it right almost after we watched the trailer yeah you know so it's been a long time yeah so but we are going to be reviewing uh the girl who lived through time yeah uh because the trailer kind of looked pretty interesting mm -hmm. you know kind of like you didn't really know where the story is going to take or anything yeah. but so we gave it a go uh this is gonna be our opinion. Uh, we probably might have, since it's been so long, we might have m gonna miss so, like, a few things yeah, and forget forgotten things. things. And then again, uh, like I said, like I think every person, whenever they watch something, they see things differently than yeah. everybody else. And then you get to talking, and you like, you know, you what? remember things. Yeah, and, and it's like, it's like, and they things. filling the gaps that you didn't notice. Yeah, which I think is perfect. Yeah, uh, but spoilers, definitely. By the way, well. You would hope people watch it, but hey, yeah. we didn't watch it before too. So, yeah, so yeah, spoilers. Uh, but before we start, uh, we wanted to say thanks to Dan for sending all those wonderful anime. We're definitely looking forward to checking them out, hopefully sooner than later. <laughs> time. Time. Oh, yeah. well, maybe we should leave through time. I know, we need to leave through time. <laughs> all right, so let's get started. I okay. Guess. All right, so the movie starts out with um, Makoto. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's how you pronounce her name. Let me make sure that's right. Um, because I don't want to sit here and be saying, yeah, Makoto. <laughs> um, and, like, the movie starts out with her just living, like, her daily life. And um, we find out that, she, like, she really likes baseball. And yeah. she, like, she's like a little tomboy with, type of thing. Yeah, she's hanging out with her friends. And um, she, like, she has two guy friends that are really, like, real close to her mm -hmm. and everything. And that she has, you know, her family and stuff like that. And yeah. then um, after an encounter in <laughs> this lab where in the school where she thinks that there's somebody in a room that nobody's there. And mm -hmm. she falls... That scene, by the way, where perfect. she fell, she falls onto, like, this little walnut that yeah. looks like a walnut yeah. and cracks it with her elbow. And just that, that whole scene had me cringing. I know. I'm like... Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. Like, you know, because that hits your funny bone. And yeah. And you're just kind of like, ah, oh, you feel everything. Yeah. Like that. But wasn't it like, okay, so before that happened... Was that already the time where she uh, was going like through her school and stuff like that? Was when she was like walking outside and the guy like flew into her or whatever? Was that? Yeah, happened? yeah. Like she'd had a really bad day that yeah. day. Like it was just she the, oh, like the cooking, thing. the cooking issue, and mm -hmm. then she had um, someone knock into her and like send her into a tree. And yeah, stuff like boys and were like literally like throwing each other or yeah. something, you know. And so she'd had a real crap day and then she discovers after um she lands on that walnut, mm -hmm. she goes throughout her day and then she um, starts she, from the beginning, I think. No, no, she she was dry she was riding on her bicycle and the mm -hmm. brakes on her bicycle fail and yeah. then she gets hit by the train. Oh and yeah, right when she gets hit by the yeah. train, it's she when... leaps back to the beginning of that day. Yeah. And um But she she wasn't really like, What the heck is happening? Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah that's uh, for me. <laughs> I like, think that would be like kind of like a reaction. For yeah, I know. <laughs> like if that I mean she kind of freaked out a little bit, but yeah. to me I would be like really freaked freaking out yeah. like you know because, hiding well, in a bunker all, freaking first out first you might think oh could that have been a dream dream yeah but then she's starting to encounter the same, same thing things. yeah and then she changed it mm -hmm. she started she start changing really, things that's a that's one of the main things and i think that was like kind of like the main point of this mm -hmm. movie was to to kind of um express to the audience that your past is your past and you mm -hmm. can't change it and if you do change it things will turn out whether they be good or bad, you know, it they will be like, much different. And it seems like it's always kind of like once you change something, it's always kind of for the worst. Yeah. It feels yeah. Like it, you yeah. Know? And that's what I think this movie really like they did really well is mm -hmm. that even though she thought that everything in her life, um, like when she um, when she didn't have the cooking accident mm -hmm. in her classroom, um, she kind of realized afterwards when the dude that it did happen to yeah. where he got bullied so much he was having more of a hard, hard time. time yeah he was having a lot more of a hard time coping with it yeah and he ended up like getting pretty psycho yeah and um, I really think that that 
like showed you it know. feels like you know every person uh was giving the life and was giving the uh kind of like the path mm -hmm. the way they're supposed to be, to taking. be taking like n no nobody else was supposed to replace your spot for it because yeah. you were given that you know kind of yeah. scenario and life oh, yeah. type of thing yeah i thought that was kind of yeah. pretty interesting i always love these kind of movies animes series whatever it is whenever it comes to the time leaping yeah i think it's very interesting how uh you know they're able to put that and every one of them has such a, like a different kind of like yeah. little thing going on yeah and i well i really liked how this went and um it just kind of reminded me of like the movie the butterfly effect mm -hmm. oh, and it's been yeah <laughs> yeah it's been a really long time since i watched that but it kind of reminded me of that and kind of like like no matter what you want to happen in life mm -hmm. like no matter what you change, sometimes it's just not fated to be that way. Mm -hmm. And that's why I liked that that kind of parallel between those two movies. But what about this movie that I really liked is that sometimes it's just not going to work out. And you just need to kind of let it go and move on. Because even if you do go back and you could change the past, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that what you want to avoid happening is not going to happen. Exactly. And yeah. um, It might not be right then, and, but it might still happen. But it will happen. eventually happen. Yeah. And, and sometimes it can happen to in a way that is worse yeah like where she you know she had gotten hit by the train and that is really bad but then to sit there and watch her friends get hit by a train and knowing that it was her fault that it happened yeah. that way that's how she felt yeah you know that they didn't really show that part yeah but um kind of like they explain it and it makes sense that she would feel you know like i think it would be very hard for a person to go through something, something like, like that. that it feels mm -hmm. like that I would say for most part, people wouldn't be able to cope with it. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. I think that would be something you would just, some of them might just commit suicide. Aside, or yeah. Something. Um, well, and that's the, like, the one of the things that, um, oh, okay. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say, so we're going to have to cut that part off. <laughs> Never mind. Um, well, let's see, like, uh, like we also like i like how uh her uh was a chiaki yeah you know he kind of like first of all you know i mean can we talk about it super adorable yeah yeah totally my style yeah. when it comes to anime i mean perfect yeah you know yeah. i mean he was i i liked him <laughs> he was a lot. like rough around the edges but super sweet, sweet at the know? same time yeah. yeah and then like that he liked her you know a lot uh, that scene where <laughs> they, they where she kept going back and back and back because he kept trying to confess to her and she was just like i'm trying to avoid it and she because she, she, she used was so many of her she was afraid that. that you know their friendship would change yeah but at the same time do you remember whenever uh she like pretty much moved on from it and stuff he started kind of like seeing like almost somebody else and yeah. she was starting to could see him and yeah that and way. that's the thing it's always like once it's gone you you never know how much you wanted it yeah. or you loved it or you're gonna miss it like until the time, the time it's gone. gone yeah and i like i guess i can i can relate to her feelings of like not wanting your friendship to change with somebody because that is a very like kind of I wouldn't say it's like a high school feeling, but yeah. you know, it it is kind of logical thinking, you know, that y your friendship could see it like i understand that by i per like personally like in yeah. life I've never had the situation, yeah. but in my opinion, uh, if I would think like if uh, a friendship is very strong, you know, and you would want to go and try out let's say dating or yeah. you know what happens usually and if it doesn't work out, but if you were in the get go such a good friends, you yeah. that shouldn't be able that to like you know like yeah. stop it. Yeah, and well, I I have run into that situation mm -hmm. in my life in the past, and that <clears throat> that <clears throat> excuse me, that friendship that I did have did end up changing mm -hmm. um, after like we ended up breaking up, mm -hmm. and um, so I can I can kind of see that, mm -hmm. but it it never. For me, it was never like we stopped talking to each other completely or mm -hmm. we weren't friends anymore. It was more of we just kind of were still friends. We just, just don't talk. Not the not, same. Not the still same. not the yeah, same. Yeah, it's definitely not the same anymore. Really? 
And um, it's kind of sad, though. Yeah, it is know? sad, but at the same time, it's also like we were at different points in our life, and that's true. And I this mean, it's been years and years. And ago. that's the thing, though. You do have to put that into consideration it's whether yeah. you are as a person growing in yeah. what direction you are. Yeah, going. and we both grew in different directions, mm -hmm. so. For me, I think it was like, you know, we, our relationship did fall apart, but our relationship as in like friendship relationship, mm -hmm. it probably would have grown apart regardless if mm -hmm. we had dated or not, just yeah. because of the different periods that we were in in our lives. Mm -hmm. And I, but I like that this movie like pointed that out that sometimes, you know, like, you can't be afraid of encountering those situations. You mm -hmm. can't be afraid of dealing with those emotions. Um, I was really surprised. I I, I was kind of surprised when Chiaki ended up being a time leaper. Mm -hmm. And I actually did was, not see that coming. Yeah, I didn't really see it coming. You know, until I think he was like until. I can't remember, first of all, it's been a little bit. Now I can't remember exactly the point of when I remembered it. The one part that I do remember is whenever he just asked her, it's like, have you been time leaping? Yeah. Do you have you time leaped? Yeah. I'm like, like when she me? when he called her and then she uses a time leap right after that to like go back before he even called. Like it's literally seconds. And she abused that thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, she did. And then when she did that, I think that is when her friends rode by on her faulty bike and mm -hmm. then she didn't have another time leap. And she to tried to stop them, them, you know, but then yeah. wasn't able to. Yeah. And then apparently the time has kind of like for us to watch has stopped. Yeah. Whatever. Well, Chiaki stopped time. Yeah. And like he, what, and that was the thing that, that was, that was the thing that confused me about this movie that I just had questions on. And maybe it was like a language, language barrier mm -hmm. kind of thing. Maybe it was something like that. But he, Chiaki used when, when her friends got hit by the train mm -hmm. and he stopped time mm -hmm. he used his last remaining time leap yes to go back and put everything right to where his friends were not getting hit by the train mm -hmm. um so and then he says while you know he's talking um to makoto well, while, see, wasn't, while the time is stopped, he's like, I'm going to disappear. I'm going to have to leave and go back to my time. Like, I'm, I'm going to disappear after I unstop time, mm -hmm. which he does. But that doesn't make sense to me because if he used his last time leap, I thought they he should be stuck in the past. Like, he wouldn't be able to disappear because he would be well, stuck in the past. Well, maybe unless that is the rule for Yeah, the like, time once travelers. you use your last time leap, like, you're They didn't you're really stuck say that bad. Your, like, yeah. they didn't never said, explain that part of it and stuff maybe that's what, that's it, what is. it is yeah you know but like i think they also didn't they like used uh he used it and she used it at the same time the uh, like their t last time or something whatever yeah, yeah. so it ended up hers wasn't used or yeah, something like yeah. that and but so like, she saved them yeah yeah see that's the thing is like he used his last time leap and it went back before she used her last yeah. time leap so that means she still had one yeah and so that's why she used her last time leap to go all the way back to the beginning before she got her powers. Mm -hmm. And that's what I liked about that is that they connected that because when she first goes into the lab, she thinks she hears somebody in the mm -hmm. lab. Yeah. And it's actually herself looking for the walnut. Mm -hmm. And that's what I found really interesting about that is that they connected those two together. Yeah, yeah, I definitely um, like those points and stuff. And then uh, can we also talk about the uh, the witch ant? Yeah, oh yeah. Like, <laughs> for some reason, I kept thinking throughout this whole movie. Especially whenever she pointed it out and they had the picture frame out there yeah, going yeah. on. But I figured that out. Um, I figured that out later. Um, but she apparently, like, I thought she was Makoto herself yeah, for like a long older, time. Like an older from version back of herself. Then or yeah. from the future, something. Yeah, like, well, the whole premise of um, Chiaki coming back in time was to see the one painting. And mm -hmm. so I felt like. And she was. She I felt, it. Yeah, and I felt like it was Makoto from the future come back to restore the painting before it got Something destroyed. Something like that. We wanted yeah. it to be like, very I complicated. Wanted it to, yeah, I wanted it to be that complicated. <laughs> um, but then uh, I've, I found out by reading online mm -hmm. that that is another storyline. That um, there is another, I think it's a manga that is based <sighs> off of her aunt's story oh, and man. how she time leaped. 
And so, like, that was... Manga that takes was, way yeah, too much time. Yeah. But um, that was the whole thing with the zooming in on that one picture frame yeah. and everything. Yeah, like obviously, because that's what yeah. she even told Bacato. It's like, uh... Oh, girls, oh, girls in your age, age do that. And I'm just like, She's when like, she said that, I was like, really? Because like, I don't remember, I don't remember doing anything like remember. that. Did you or do maybe that? I did. And maybe we did. myself from being a time leaper. Exactly. The, the, <laughs> that's what happened to us. So yeah. We did all our things and then we were back to normal. Yeah. And now we don't remember anything. Let's just think that yeah. way. Because yeah. that's pretty cool. I wonder yeah. what we all did there. Um, yeah, probably <laughs> screwed up. And that's why we stopped doing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just ran out and then it was done. <laughs> But yeah, that was the that was the thing. It's like that one question though that it still bugs me to this day is like why he wasn't stuck in the past and and I had. But I feel kind of sad that you know he had to leave anyway yeah. and stuff because he likes I, her, her and she, she likes him, him and, and well and see that's the thing that's another thing that I was the really frustrated. Was restoring the picture so it was sooner or later we're gonna be done and yeah. I'm like mm. well see what I was kind of frustrated about with that with the ending was is like he is saying i'll wait for you in the future which that's so romantic and it's sweet and it's nice and everything how long but is that we don't get any kind of world building with chiaki's world yeah like we don't get any kind of world building with the future what's it like how far in the future oh, are we I talking know, i know, you know how it's like, like it's like my lap from another uh, star yeah like is is it kind of in the near future or and and then how is that going to turn out he's saying i'm wait for you in the future well is makoto gonna go find him and she be like in her 50s or 60s and he be 16 years old yeah like, see that's what i say is, like he would like they then make it look like that he doesn't age age yeah so mm -hmm. like how how is this working like how is that going to work and it's it's, it's like back to the doom in june like he never yeah. ages is, he like when he finally leaves comes back back and forth yeah. to her and never know how long he's gonna stay okay. yeah like uh, i mean on. yeah it kind of is that love from another star storyline <laughs> at the end um and but a lot of people i also saw like online were questioning like how when he was saying goodbye to her mm -hmm. and then he like she turns around and he's gone and then he's like all of a sudden back again to give her a hug you know that little scene everybody was like well how if he lost his time leaps how did he come back and i think it was more of just like he like hid on the other side of the hill and then like surprised her again yeah <laughs> so Weird. You know, why even leave? Yeah, you know. Like, I know, but I don't know. I'm. But I'm, at I, the same time, like you can't mess with time. You can't because yeah. I mean, it's the butterfly effect. It's you know, time the, is time. One little thing that you could do could adversely yeah. affect the universe. It's like time is given to everybody in their like in the order it's supposed to be. Yeah. you know, lived. Yeah, and every every I think that. I, part of it has been planned. Yeah, I like I and that's kind of how I feel about like time and destiny and fate mm -hmm. and everything is I do believe in fate. I believe that some people are fated to live their lives in a certain way and some are not. Yeah. And I, I do believe in that. Yeah. But at the same time, I do believe that we still have a little bit of free will Yeah. and that we can make our decisions um, and, you know, base our lives on, on how we, you know, our actions and everything. But at the same time, I do believe in fate. And yes, I, I agree. I agree. Because some things are just meant to be. Yeah, I mean, and like we said earlier, like, you know, as a human beings, everybody grows. We mm -hmm. uh, change with time, with decades and everything else. Everybody's yeah. got... It, it's just, it, that's what it is. You know, yeah. there is a, such a thing as probably change to a fate. Yeah. It does happen, and I, I also am a strong believer. Mm -hmm. Everything happens for a reason. That mm -hmm. means it had to happen that way. It's meant to happen that way. There's a reason for it. So in the long run, there's something that's come out of yeah. it. Yeah, and that's kind of comforting at the same time, too, because a lot of people are like, oh, if they could have just done things differently and da 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 I find comfort in the fact that I believe in fate to the extent that, you know, I, when something bad happens in my mm -hmm. life or something like that, I can always be like, you know, this is just kind of how, how things yeah. worked out for me. Yeah. And, you know, we'll pick ourselves up and we'll, we'll do something about it. But that's, that's the yeah, thing. I've it's, always, it's somewhat I've, comforting. I've pretty much lived the same way for years mm -hmm. like whatever something comes bad, you know, bad at you guys, you have to pretty much kind of like take it as good as you can yeah. handle it you know just think just about deal. it there's yeah. like there's a reason 
you had to deal with that there's a reason that was you know given to you you have to face it mm -hmm. in the end that might make you pretty much a stronger person oh, yeah. and a person who uh, will be able to deal with things easier oh yeah like account. don't get me wrong like I <laughs> we I, all went through crap in yeah life. <laughs> and I I have the worst personality for avoidant behavior but at the same time like if you're facing something in your life and it's really hard and it's really difficult you know find comfort in yourself that you are strong enough to take care of it that you are strong enough to deal with it it you know I I firmly believe that you if you have enough faith in yourself and you believe in yourself enough that no. you can get through anything and there's and always the wonderful people in life yeah that, and there's that you, you yeah the there way. you can find support Ev everywhere and like we support you no matter what so, exactly yeah, and you guys support right. us and we love it because so. you know we never know when our channel goes down oh and yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's wonderful <laughs> that's what we're here for we're just yeah. going to be more patient yeah. uh so i think like an overall this was a great anime it mm -hmm. was very easy to watch yeah it was very it was light you know yet it had a really good strong message and story to it yeah. i really kind of do wish they would have like actually i don't know i haven't checked it till i just thought about it maybe they should have an ova to it yeah maybe they do have mm -hmm. an ova to do. it and yeah. i'm just saying this and not mm -hmm. even knowing about it but i'm gonna check it out no problem <laughs> uh but i think like if they would just do like a little something yeah maybe like or even like i do a little bit of a something for uh the backstory of the ant yeah too oh yeah you know like even yeah. that part yeah they give us a little bit of more of a detail suchiyaki yeah. also yeah you know something like that i think that'd be cool oh actually it would be very interesting how uh the ant abused her powers yeah i know <laughs> that's what i'm interested in is seeing like what happened with that story you know because she warned her from the beginning you can't mess with time and like why do you know that <laughs> it's like what have you You've been, been doing, doing. <laughs> yeah i think like she she the aunt has an interesting personality so, mm -hmm. so it'd be kind of interesting to see what she had in store but mm -hmm. this is just what it is and we finally checked it out we're finally doing a review after like i don't even know how after long ever yes so uh let us know what the next trailer uh we should check out and we're gonna try to like get to it more like faster mm -hmm. after we check out the trailer yeah oh yeah <laughs> we'll get it <laughs> because this one we kind of like forget things and we have to like kind of look up the names look up a little here and there yeah. type of things but i don't know this was absolutely an amazing suggestion so leave more we're gonna definitely check them out as much as time we have it is back to school yeah so it gets to be a little bit difficult but we're gonna try to find time just we as we do find time for the reaction as well everything you guys want so thank you angel so much uh don't forget to subscribe hit the bell hit the whatever i can't remember uh, yeah we haven't done this in a long time we haven't done this so, so you click here you click there don't forget it and we'll see you next time bye, bye.